Have you ever tried to get your class to participate in the lesson, but your students just look at you silently? For the most part, the students are just watching the clock to see how much time it is until break time. The truth is, it is our responsibility as teachers to draw the students out of their shell and make a way for them to participate in the lesson. Welcome to Ruth Straight Talk, the channel designed to help you, your students and your children live fuller lives, become lifelong learners, and grow into the awesome human beings you were designed to be. I'm Cynthia Ruth. In this video, I will share with you several ways to help your students step out of their com comfort zone and ask thought-provoking questions. Also, don't miss my bonus strategy at the end of this video. So if this video is for you, let's just get right to it. As teachers, we all know the value of students' questions. We also know that when students find what they are, they are interested in, they will ask questions. And those questions will reveal to us what the student is thinking and tell us whether the student is engaged or not. Certainly, our goal is to bring relevance to the lesson so that the student becomes motivated and eventually the student will see how they might use that concept in real life. One way to do this is to give students the opportunity to ask questions about the content. We arouse their curiosity and let them do the work to create those connections. And through their questions, they will take ownership and personally relate to what they're learning. So why students' questions are essential? Number one, students' questions allow us as teachers to get a glimpse into the child's prior knowledge of the, of the text or the topic. Students' questions reveal what they know and help us to find the correct point where to begin the lesson. Keep in mind that students will shut down when the lesson is too difficult for them to understand. Also, if they become bored with something they've already mastered, they will again shut down and not bother to do the lesson. Consequently, the teacher must find exactly the right spot to pursue that lesson. And the questions that your students ask will reveal exactly where that spot is. Number two, student questions also help us to approach the lesson based on the student's interest. And the questions will tell us what part of the content that they want to explore more deeply. When we give the students opportunity to focus on their interest, both motivation and transfer of knowledge will increase. Number three, when students ask questions at the beginning of a new topic or unit, they tend to learn and retain the content better. And as they learn, they will ask more questions, keeping their minds engaged and eager for new information. As you see, students' questions play a really important role in the learning process. So how can we help our students develop thought-provoking thought -provo provoking questions? Here are four strategies to promote such student questions. The first strategy is to pique your students' curiosity. When we come upon unusual or interesting ideas, our instinct is to be curious. For example, if you take two identical sheets of paper, crumple one up into a ball and keep the other flat. And if you let both papers fall from a second story balcony, will they hit the ground both at the same time? Why or why not? This is a simple exercise that you could use as you teach about the different types of forces, including frictional force, 
and science. This could turn into a wonderful class discussion in which the students ask their own questions, write them down on a large piece of paper and post them on the classroom wall. Then during the lesson, as the answer to each question is answered, you can check them off. By the end of the unit, you can revisit the board and have the class answer the rest of the questions based on the content that they have already learned. Make sure that you gave them enough information, of course, to answer the rest of the questions by the end of the unit. This curiosity can actually be applied to every course that your, your students will go through. Number two, celebrate every question. Make a big deal when a student asks us a question, especially if the questions have direct bearing on the lesson. Stop the class and have the student repeat the question to the entire group and allow time for a discussion about that question. Students can then write their questions on an index card and post them on the I Wonder wall. Students will take pride in having their questions added to the wall. Number three, turn questions into teachable moments. Sometimes the question may be off topic for that particular lesson. However, it may resonate with the rest of the class. A good practice then as teachers is to go with the flow because your students are ready to learn that concept. For example, in human biology class, you may be discussing the alimentary system. But if someone asks a question about COVID-19, you should answer that question since the class is mentally and emotionally ready for this information. The fourth strategy to help your child or your student ask higher order questions. Higher order questions causes students to develop thought out explanations, thus enhancing learning across the content area. Higher order questions can start with a simple question such as a why or what caused or how did this occur? What if? How does it compare? or what is the evidence? These higher order questions require well thought out explanations that help the student develop critical thinking skills. By modeling good questioning, your students can begin to ask questions of themselves and eventually become independent learners. The bonus strategy is to develop self-questioning among your students. Students can use the modeling of questions by the teacher to create self-questioning for themselves. These self-questions improve awareness and focus their thinking, which in turn will improve their learning. It can improve long-term memory of knowledge and skills as the student applies that knowledge and skills to what they have learned. It can also motivate students by allowing them to become active participants in their own learning process. So there you have it, several strategies to help your student develop thought-provoking questions. If this video has helped you, please leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Also, if you have a story, a tip, a strategy, a question, or just some advice that you would like me to share with my audiences, please also leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Click on these videos above for more awesome information on education and parenting. As always, thank you so much for visiting with us at RootStraightTalk.com. It has been a pleasure. So until next time, happy learning and goodbye.